Hey guys, this is probably the craziest I've looked. But basically, I kind of just woke up. It's late. Like, it's after 11. And ever since I came back from traveling, y'all, my schedule is so bad. Like, I just keep being tired waking up late. But I did go out last night. And I probably didn't go to sleep till almost 5 a.m. So maybe that's why. But basically today, today is Wednesday, the 18th. I don't know when this will be posted. But I, I'm going to start posting weekly. So probably sooner. Um, but yeah, I have a bunch of errands I need to run. I actually have an appointment at 4 in Beverly Hills, so I need to speed this up because I'm oh out. I just lied. It's after 12 already, but I woke up 11 something. Um, I My car is in the shop for a dent in the door that I was prolonging, whatever. So I need to go to get a rental today because I have a rental cover for my insurance. It's not going to be a cute car. They only do like $40 up to like that's my coverage plan and last time i paid extra for like a nicer car but that's a waste of money and this year we not wasting money okay i need to spend wisely and realistically i only need the car to run errands and go to appointments when i go out y'all i don't i don't drive just because it's like i'm not trying to drive around late and if i do drink that's a whole nother thing um even though i don't really drink when i go out but you get the point so I'm just doing my little morning skincare before I step out and then I'm going to eat like a quick little yogurt bowl, get my probiotics in and then we're going to go see what has the most decent car I guess because I called around the one closest to me, the Enterprise, they don't have any options. They're like we only have two things so I'm going to have to go a little further but it's okay. So right now I'm using this caffeine, if you could see. Caffeine eye cream by the Inky List, which I like this brand for their hyaluronic acid. So um, I started using the eye cream, which I'm not even an eye cream girl, but my mom is always like, you need to wear eye cream just for preventative methods. So that's what I'm really doing it for, but I don't feel like I need it because that's one issue I don't have. Trust me, I break out, I get dark marks, but under eyes, as far as dark, like under eyes are never really an issue for me. Ew. Um, so now I'm doing some vitamin C and I put it on my neck and on my face. You should always drag your skincare down to your neck, by the way. Unless it's something super intense, don't because your neck is more sensitive. But I'm using the Drunk Elephant Vitamin C, which I don't know how I feel about it. I don't think I use it that consistently to notice anything. And I'm using it in combination with another strong product so yeah but I use that just for dark marks and then this is just a special cream that my dermatologist made um because I think I told you guys this in another video but if you're new here or you didn't see the other one basically I had a really tragic skin incident at the end of last year I think it was right before October um but basically I got a chemical peel in Atlanta and they had me using retinol which you're not supposed to use during that and y'all that effed up my face i was left with crazy marks and texture that took forever to go away um so since then i've been getting microneedling and using like my dermatologist products and i'm on like acne medication fair lactone so it's been a process but she gave me this special cream which i think it's some form of glycolic acid but it's like a special strong one she makes and i've been using this morning and night and it has helped drastically with all of my marks and discoloration um only thing I've noticed in the last couple of days, I have like some weird red bumps on my nose and they're not like pimples you could pop. They're just like red bumps. So it's weird. I don't know what's going on, but it's bothering me because I want them to go away, obviously. But um, yeah, I'm just going to try to not pick at my face. Uh, so next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use this hyaluronic acid and then some moisturizer and that'll be it. I don't do anything super crazy with my skincare but always hyaluronic acid before your moisturizer because that helps it lock in and you guys are positioned at a crazy angle in my sink right now so I don't know um how exactly it looks yeah hyaluronic acid and then we're gonna take this one by I also got from my dermatologist office I'd never heard of it before this is the brand I used in the morning um, and I think it's just like a gentle good one and then I mix it sometimes 
with the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. And I love how the pump is like you press it. Some people don't like it. I think it's fun and it makes me like it more. So yeah, and then I'm gonna take these Drunk Elephant Drops, which, funny story, I was using these before they started being trendy on TikTok and before at Miss Alex Earl, no shade. But yeah, I know that it's like popular now because of her or maybe just because of TikTok, but I was already using this. My mom actually put me on when I was like, my face is just too pale. She's like, add that into your moisturizer and it'll give you a little color. And I also do use a face self tanner, which I did last night. Um, but it takes like a little while to develop and sometimes I have to do it twice so um, this is going to help because I'm not about to put on makeup just to run my errands so yeah and then because I use a white sunscreen this one is Correct and Protect SPF 45 by Murad and also helps like just even out your skin as well but because I use sunscreen I also will mix it into that um so we're gonna just put a little bit more in here you just mix it into any like oils or face kind of things so yeah my face is a little red after i do skincare because i'm just putting so much pressure on it but it's fine should have ice rolled my face that's something i forgot to do and if i do it now i'm gonna have like skincare all over it so we're just gonna skip that today but typically y'all ice rolling is a part of my routine um, and I just do my neck and chest. I'm going to take a shower later because I'm going to a football game at 7. And I feel like by the time I come home, I'll have to just get ready. Because I have appointment at 4. So, traffic and all that, I'm going to be home just in time to get ready. So, yeah. I had washed my face with... I'll do skincare one day, but this is the toner I used afterwards. So, it's the Paula's Choice. I got it. I'm going to just take out my little scarf. My hair, I've been wearing it in that little Y2K, like, half up hairstyle. That's just been my go-to because my hair is, I have tape ends and they're curly at the moment. Like, I don't have them straightened out. So, this is just what's been easiest. And I just put it in two braids last night because my hair gets matted with the tape ends when it's curly. This is the only way to keep it, like, somewhat detangled. And it's still, obviously, not the best. But... We'll fix it up later. Right now, I'm just going to run a few errands, like I said. So, I don't even know if I'm going to put on earrings. Like, I'm really just trying to run out. Um, when I run errands, I look crazy. I'm not, like, a cute outfit errands girl at all. I just realized that clip was running on, like, 12-something minutes. We should have been stopped it because my editing is going to have to be... Mm. Um, but also I got these little organizers for my medicine cabinet because I'll give you a little sneak peek. I have, it just all jumbled up and it's not cute. I want things to be properly done. So, and then in my closet, I have organizers for my drawers so I can like have my lingerie, bikinis and socks all like properly done. And this is how I did my bras in this drawer. So it's similar to like an organizer and for my other drawers. And I have my underwear in this one, but I'm not going to show y'all that because, well, I guess I can show you a sneak peek. It's really nothing bad, but underwear, I rolled it and put it in those little cubbies. So that's cute. Um, yeah, this is all about organization for me because I'm not a messy person like that, but drawers with stuff just thrown in it and it's hard for me to like get things out or find things. Um, I have a lot of like mismatched socks and just underwear that needed to get rid of. So I'm just renewing everything, refreshing everything. Organization really helps you clear your mind and stay productive. Yeah. So I'm going to make a yogurt bowl. I'll show you guys my little yogurt bowl. I'm trying to eat yogurt every day just as like a probiotic, which is so important as a woman. I take probiotic pills, but this is just a natural way to get it in your system if you're not a pill person. Um, so I just got a random brand. This one is honey vanilla flavored. Just any Greek yogurt that's not like artificial. Um, I even like the plain ones, but I'm going to make a little bowl with this, some granola and some honey. And if I had fruit, I would have done fruit. I have grapes, but that's not like a yogurt kind of thing. And yeah, I think that's it. And then I'm going to get my ass out this house because we need to go. 
This doesn't look that physically appealing, but it's just some yogurt. Like I said, I added a lot of granola and some honey, and this just is my toppings. And then for like my daily supplements, vitamins, I have the elderberry, which I fell off of all of this, you guys, because I was traveling, so I'm getting back in it. This I take just because I have a weak immune system, and it's just good with helping you not get sick easily, or if I do feel sick, I'll pop these in. But I really just do it daily for preventative methods. And then this is the current probiotics I take. I don't know if y'all just heard my stomach, but I'm hungry. Um, let me know if you guys know a better brand. I don't think this is bad. It's just, I don't, like, am I supposed to notice something or it's just for upkeep? Because, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm open to trying new ones. That's just the brand I've always used. This is my spirit lactone for acne, which my I don't really have bad acne, but I'm just very particular about my skin, and I'm just doing this so that I don't break out at all, because I'll get a bad underneath pimple like every month, and I'm tired of it. Um, and then I just started taking apple cider vinegar pills. I just feel like, you know, it's just good for women's health. And if you're trying to lose weight, I heard this is good for bloating, but I'm trying to gain, so hopefully this doesn't counteract. And then chlorophyll, which you guys saw in my water. These are some gummies I used to take, but they're gone. I don't really use those anymore. And this is the pill thing I do, which I have on my Amazon um, storefront, if you want to go check out that. And there's some other vitamins I take, but I have been slacking on them. Usually, I'll add vitamin C, zinc, and then I have two other skin ones. But right now, these are the most important, and then I'm going to just turn, add the other ones back in. So, yeah. I'm going to eat my yogurt and hurry up and leave. My nigga Delta in the box. needling yesterday so my face right now it's really red and really rough and I look crazy but I'm, I'm just being real with y'all so I just want to see it on here you know what I really really should put on this damn hood but I wanted to get on here because I'm just showing y'all what I'm doing this morning so I just printed out a few packages um, that I'm gonna ship and then I made myself some coffee some yogurt i don't love yogurt like i'm not a yogurt girl at all but i'm just trying to intake my natural probiotics and if you don't know i'm about to put you on um greek yogurt like plain greek yogurt or it could be flavored too but actual greek yogurt is great for your lady parts it's just a good probiotic just in general i think females or even males it's just it's healthy so I've been trying to just eat this every day, like no specific reason, but I was taking probiotics in pill form and I just feel like they're not the best. So I'm trying to do it in other ways and I'm not even a breakfast person. So I'm thinking like this is a way for me to get probiotics and eat breakfast. And I just like to put some topping, I just did granola and honey and all that. Hold on, sorry, oh, got a little call. But anyways, um, where was I? I'm hot as hell. I have the heat on, but when I don't have the heat on, it's cold, so I just don't know what's a good balance. But, yeah, I'm gonna just finish this, and then after this, I'm gonna wash this nasty sink full of dishes. And then, what I was saying was I was printing out um, labels for some packages I have to take, the, take to the post office today because tomorrow's Sunday, and Sunday you can't ship stuff, so I gotta get these out. And then I'm going to take all of my vitamins. I know it looks like a lot. After that, I don't know if you can see all these little things. There's some bills. I have a ticket from when I was driving on, like, the lane. I don't remember what it's called, but it's, like, the lane on the highway, the fast lane that you have to have a pass for. And I was rushing to the airport, and I had my friend drop me off in, in my car. So I was like, girl, I'll just get a ticket because I need to make this flight. So got my ticket in the mail. And then I have... Uh, my vehicle registration renewal, which is like two months overdue, you guys. So it's now over a thousand dollars when originally it was only like six or seven hundred. Dumb mistake. Don't be me. So yeah, I need to get those paid today just because I don't want more late fees. Then I'm going to make up my bed, which I redid my room, and I never did like a room tour, so y'all don't even really know the difference. 
but I'll show you guys like once my bed is made up. It looks really cute. And I got this new thing. Get it from Amazon. I'm going to link it in my storefront. So check my storefront after this video. It should be linked. Um, and I'll have everything in my bio, like my social media and my, my storefront links. Uh, and then later today, I have these containers that I'm going to basically use to organize my medicine cabinet. And this is where I have all my other vitamins and just medicine for when I'm sick. Um, these clothes I need to take to the dry cleaner. They're coats that I wore when I was on my trip. They need to be dry cleaned. What else do I need to do? And then I have, I need to organize my closet. Um, all that stuff in my closet needs to be organized. Some of these are bins that I'm going to put in drawers and then have these clothes here. These, this is for a promo deal that I have to do, like a reel for or pictures. So I'm probably just going to put those in my other room because I don't keep stuff like that in my bedroom. Um, that's pretty much all I have to do today. And so after I finish my breakfast, which now it's my coffee's probably cold. Let's see. I'm, I'm like on 10. The fact that I'm even on camera like this, I wouldn't ever have done in a million years. Like y'all, normally I'd be feeling like I have to like put together and all that, but I'm trying to really be consistent and be real with y'all. And when I wake up, I'm not putting on a full face. So I did get microneedling though, and my face is not normally like this. It's patchy and red because it's only day two. So by tomorrow or the next day, my skin will be like nice and clear again. Um, but yeah. That's how you know I love y'all and I'm really trying because when would I ever do this? Hmm? Oh, tonight I'm going to go to the movies though. I got to get the tickets. Me and Taylor, we're going to go see Avatar. I still have not seen it and we're like at the end of January. But I was never an Avatar fan, y'all, so it wasn't something I was excited to see. But I've heard it was good and I love going to the movies and I haven't been in a while. So I'm just going to go. And then also, I pick. This is the theater I go to and it's nice because you can eat. It's like real meals of just like snack food so they have good drinks good food so yeah we're gonna do that late tonight i think like 10 30 but i'd be up late now so that should be fine um it's just a really long movie y'all i just wanted to add that when you get microneedling make sure if you're gonna go out or even just being in the house because look i have these bright windows wear sunscreen like i'm about to put hella sunscreen on because your skin's already gonna be more sensitive just from the treatment it attracts more UVs or I don't know if I'm saying anything right but if you know you know so I'm about to put on hella sunscreen also I drink my coffee with a straw even when it's hot because I don't want it to stain my teeth same thing with chlorophyll water I do drink that every day as well and I use a straw because it can stain your teeth and your tongue even though chlorophyll stains are temporary like but um coffee stains are permanent I mean not permanent but like that will gradually make your teeth more and more yellow as with chlorophyll it's just like a green that comes off obviously when you brush your teeth but i don't you know i'm drinking it throughout the day so i don't want that i can't brush my teeth after each sip <laughs> I need to get some more pillows I don't know if this looks cute it's kind of dry and I know like out of all the girlies my bed is probably plain but I got this throw from Target um, which is strictly a throw and then I got all these pillows from Target and this bed set from Amazon which I also have in light pink this from Amazon um, I want to get I think like some pillows that are similar to that color some smaller ones to go here and then I also have, you can't see, but I have this pillow, another one, it's two, but the other one has a hole in it from when I had Apollo, he like bit through, so I'm going to go get it fixed at the cleaners. Um, but I'm like, do you think I should add this, y'all? Like, imagine two of these here. It could go in front of those, and I could make something cool, or like, let's test how this would look if I had maybe that here, that here. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. Or they're just going to go on that chair. So yeah, we're going to see. This is just my little test. I'm going to put this back. And then other thing I do, I got this mini vacuum. Focus. I have this mini vacuum from Amazon. And I just use it to like pick up any little things on the carpet. <laughs> I'm 
show you guys a Sephora haul because I spent way too much money not to. So I got some from Sephora the other day in this huge bag, you guys. Like, huge. So, and it's heavy. First thing, um, I already used last night and I took out, but it's the Ordinary. Oh my god, I've been saying Ordinary. Wow. It's the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toning Solution. And of course, saw this from my TikTok girlies and they were saying that it helps you from like, if you sweat and like obviously it'll be a little musty from sweating, it's supposed to stop that, like no smells. But I already don't really have the issue because I drink chlorophyll water, but I'm just trying it anyways, just to double up. And also I'm gonna try it to lighten like my elbows and my knees. But if you know anything about this or what it actually does and works best for, let me know. I got these three products. These are like my go-to shampoo and conditioners that I've been out of for a while. Because I don't really wash my hair a lot. I usually just go to the salon. But I was running out, so I re-upped on these. And then I'm going to try the Way Thick Hair Conditioner. I only got the conditioner, but if I should get the shampoo, let me know and I'll go back and get it. Um, I have no idea what this even smells like, but all their products usually smell good. Mmm, kind of just smells like the body wash, but like a hair version. So anyways, I got this because I would condition my hair more than shampoo anyways. I'm always out of conditioner. Um, I got a re-up of just the airbrush flawless finish from Charlotte Tilbury. But then as soon as I freaking got back home, y'all, I realized there's a new one out now that's supposed to be for brightening. And I do want to try it, so I'm going to have to go back and get the other one as well. All right, um... I re-upped all my foundations. I get the minis of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Glow or Luminous Silk because I mix two to get like the perfect color. So I got 6.5 and 7. Um, I just don't feel the need to get the big ones when I'm mixing. I last It lasts a lot longer. So yeah, this is my favorite foundation. Nothing else compares after you use this. But I will say it's buildable, like it's not like a heavy coverage, but I do like that because when my skin's doing good, I don't want a heavy coverage. I just want it to look better, you know, like enhance. All right, so I got this Dior Eye Serum. This is the one on TikTok that has like the little metal applicator and everyone's using. I just thought it was cute. I wanted to try it. Um, the lady at Sephora was like, this is an old product that's just now coming like people are using it on tiktok so people think it's new but she's like this has been around for so long she's like the only thing they changed was they added the little metal thing um which i feel like is better because it's like cold if you keep it in the fridge and it just helps deep puff more so yeah when i do use this i'll try to show y'all but i think i'm gonna order like a mini fridge from amazon to keep like my beauty products because she said this should be in the fridge for like even better use um and i have a lot of products that i just want to put in the fridge Especially eye stuff. Okay, so this is the Way Scalp and Body Scrub. This is the original one in Melrose. But I do like the coconut one more. I don't know the name of it, but it's like more of a coke. I think it is it St. Bart's? I don't know. It's like some kind of islandy name, but it smells like coconuts. But they didn't have that in stock. So I just got the original because I'm running low. So this is my everyday scrub. I've never used it in my hair though, but I guess you can. And it smells good. Um, okay. I got a candle, a Mason Margiela replica candle because I'm, my other one is like finished. Um, so I'm trying a new scent. This one's Beach Vibe. Oh, three more things. Oh, I got a Huda Beauty lip pencil. I'm always losing my lip pencils, y'all. Always. I even just bought a new one a few days ago and I already can't find it. So I just got one. I usually get the same shades. This one's in warm brown. I got the Fenty Beauty Cherry Treat lip oil because i heard this was better than the dior lip oil and the dior lip oil the rosewood one is like my go-to but it leaks a lot and anyways i just heard this was better and not as sticky because that one is a little bit sticky so we're gonna try because i love me a good lip oil and lastly i just re-upped on my paula's choice toner my other one's completely out so i got a big one for my house and i have some minis for travel so yeah y'all that's what i got my total, I am like a Rouge member because y'all, I spend so much money when I go. My total is like, oh, it's not even on here, but it was like almost $600 and I just didn't even say anything. I'm like, wow, just bring me up because I don't even want to, I don't even want to think about it. But these were things, some of them were things I needed to be up on. And then obviously I tried a few new things, but overall it was needed and I just don't see the point in like getting things one by one. 
it adds up to be the same regardless. All right, y'all, so I just changed finally. I just put on my black and I'm about to run my errands. So late in the day, I don't think I'm really gonna vlog while I'm out. If I do, I'll do it on my phone because I'm just not in the mood to bring like a bulky camera because I'm just trying to do quick errands so I can get back home because I'm leaving during traffic now, which <clears throat> big mistake. But first off, dry cleaners, then post office. Well, depending, they should both close around five, so we'll see. Um, and then after that, I need to go to Target, but I don't want to go to Target because I just went there. Where else? There was one more place. I want to grab food while I'm out, though, too. I have a list on my phone, but it's just quick errands, so let's go. Several days later. So I have been preparing some food, like meal prep. I didn't record the process because when I'm in a mode, if it's cleaning or cooking, I have to just do it. But yeah, I just seasoned all this salmon. I'm going to put this in the fridge to marinate. Um, had the dishes and mess and then I went grocery shopping yesterday. I didn't do a haul because I was tired But I got hella groceries Lots of frozen food makes my life easy Um, but I also seasoned chicken that's in here. So I seasoned cleaned seasoned My chicken and my salmon and I'm gonna have to marinate in the fridge And then I'm about to decide on like what sides I want. I think I'm gonna make a cucumber salad with tomatoes and then the thing is, I'm not a cook, so I can't, like, show y'all the recipes and make it, like, you know, a thing. I just have to do it. But I'm still, like, every day kind of experimenting cooking. But chicken and salmon are two easy things that I've made many times that I kind of got down packed. Cucumber salad cannot be hard. I grew up on that, and I watched a TikTok um, where they use that. Tomatoes and lemons, which I have over here. And seasonings, and it was yummy. And then I want to make potatoes, but potatoes take too long. But I have potatoes, and then I got a lot of greens for just like a side sauteed spinach. Um, and then that's pretty much it. I don't need like a lot of sides. Um, and then for other meals, other days, I have like pasta sauce for pasta, and I have ground turkey in the freezer. And then I have some burger buns for like the frozen turkey burgers from Trader Joe's, one of my favorites. And then I got this Hawaiian bread rolls, like sweet bread rolls. So I think it would be yummy as like a salmon cider. I saw a recipe for that before too. The only thing is I cut all my salmon up, but I'm going to see. I could do multiple things with this. So, yeah. All right, I just wanted to quickly show y'all. I made a salmon bowl and it looks yummy. I kind of over, I didn't overcook the salmon, but I let it get crispy. But next time I might not, but did it in the air fryer. And I just added some seaweed, avocado, and I don't, and some sauces like sriracha, teriyaki, and yum yum sauce. So, about to eat this. All right, now I'm just chopping stuff up. I'm about to make a cucumber salad, but I think I'm gonna save half of the cucumbers to just keep to have with the ranch. And yeah, I don't really love tomatoes, but I feel like seasoned all like it. And then I'm just watching something on YouTube. And that's it for the update. All right, guys, so another random cooking thing. I made like a taco bowl with ground turkey. So, so far, I just put the rice, beans, corn, and then I'm about to put the ground turkey and then clean up after. And then these are all my toppings. Oh, and shredded cheese and jalapenos. So, yum. Hey, guys, good morning. So, I just got ready. I washed my hair. I got my extensions out the other day. Did like a natural makeup, slick hair, and I'm wearing this. And I'm going to change into jeans, but I'm about to go have someone take some digitals for me because I have to send it <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, to a brand. So for digitals, I would wear a white top and some blue jeans, but I'm about to drive and I don't want to be uncomfortable in jeans. And then just some basic heels to give you a little height and just kind of help you with your stance, you know? So yeah. I'm gonna just wear this with some jeans and I wanted my hair to be out, be out the way enough to be able to like see my features um, but you still know like I have curly hair because when it's all down it's just a lot and yeah and I'm gonna show you guys I just packed a little bag with my stuff and then I just took all my vitamins so I take spirilactone which is just for acne and then these are the best probiotics if you're a girl these are so I don't get sick. Did I show you guys these before? I don't know. And then I have a few other ones. I have to refill this thing, but um, 